Hi, Pankers, and welcome to your second talk for writing lesson this week. So today is Tuesday, the 23rd of February 2021, and your learning objective today is can I recognise key information about stone, bronze and iron ages? So in this lesson, I am going to give you more information about the prehistoric period. As we go through, note down anything you found interesting. OK, so what I would like you to do now is pause the screen, grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen just to take down notes. OK, so I'm going to start reading this to you. The Stone, Bronze and Iron Ages. So this is my heading. The first people arrived in Britain around 750,000 years ago. However, the people living in Britain didn't have a written language until the Romans arrived in 43 CE. The time before people in Britain started um, writing is called British prehistory. So I know when we did our wider curriculum lesson and your text map, it does say 500,000 years ago. And in this book, it says 750,000 50, years ago. Um, but that doesn't matter because it was prehistory. They're kind of unsure about when as well. OK, so there will be some sources which will give you different. Um, yeah, so you will see a difference in the years of when they believe they came. OK, so prehistory lasted over 750,000 years ago. Um, not many prehistoric objects have lasted until modern times, but archaeologists are always looking for clues and show us that what prehistoric life was like. OK, then you've got pictures here and I'm just going to read the captions for you. So for this picture, it says this is a stone axe from the Stone Age, 750,000 years before Christ to 200, uh, 2,500 years before Christ. OK, so this is a stone axe. So remember, they made tools from um, stone during the Stone, stone Age. This is a bronze axe from the Bronze Age. And this is an iron sword from the Iron Age. Prehistory is divided into three time periods. Each period is named after the material that was most commonly used to make tools at the time. Which prehistoric period happened first? So for this picture, it says here, prehistoric objects can teach us about the past. This gold iron age um, bracelet shows us the type of jewelry that rich people wore at the time. Fact, uh, fact cut, okay, the, the people who lived in Britain during the iron age are called the Celts. Groups of Celts also lived across Europe. The Celts spoke Celtic languages similar to modern Welsh or Gaelic. Gaelic. OK, so now this is about food and farming. People in Stone Age Britain were hunter gatherers. They spent their lives moving from place to place looking for food. They hunted wild animals and collected fruit and vegetables. So if you look on this page, it, um, it says wild boar were often hunted by hunter gatherers. Can you find out if wild boars still live in Britain today? So you can do a bit of research yourself. And the fact cat has said at the start of the own, um, Stone Age, people could hunt woolly rhinos in Britain. Archaeologists have found rhino, rhinosaurus bones with knife marks, which shows they, they were hunted and eaten by humans. So over here, it says towards the end of the Stone Age, European settlers showed people in Britain how to farm. This changed everyday life for people in Britain. They started to live on farms and had more time for other activities. On Bronze and Iron Age farms, people planted crops such as wheat and barley. They kept animals for milk and meat. So if you do want to take some inter interesting information down, you just pause the screen and you can take um, information down if you missed, missed me um, reading it. So now this page is about rulers and tribes. The population of Britain was very small in the Stone Age. People lived in family groups and weren't controlled by a ruler. OK, so they lived in family groups. In Stone Age groups, everyone had a different job. Some people hunted and others prepared food or made tools. So in this picture, you can see some people make preparing food, some people making tools and some people hunting. 
The population of Britain grew in the Bronze Age. By the Iron Age, small family groups had joined together into tribes. Each tribe, tribe had its own ruler. Tribes would fight each other for land or resources. This is a statue of Boudicca, one of the most famous Celtic rulers. She controlled the Iceni Ic tribe. In which, in which part of Britain did the Iceni tribe live? Okay, so a fact cat. Boudicca wasn't the only female Celtic ruler. Although most rulers were men, several powerful women ruled tribes and fought battles. Now this page is about houses. The first Stone Age hunter-gatherers slept in caves as they moved around the country. As people started to stay longer in each place to grow uh, food, they began to build huts that would last for several months. It's likely that Stone Age huts had a wooden frame. The frame was covered with animal furs to keep the hut warm. In the Bronze and Iron Ages, groups of people lived together in small villages. Their houses had walls made from dry mud and sticks and a straw roof. Inside there was one room where the family slept and cooked. Most houses in the Bronze and Iron Ages were round, like the houses in these reconstruction of an Iron Age village. Now the fact cat is telling you, the straw roof of a round house could weigh up to two tons. That's as much as a hippopotamus. What is another name for a straw roof? So that is something else you could research. This page is about tools. So the first tools people made were simple. They were made by hitting stones together until one stone had a sharp edge. It took a long time to cut plants or meat with stone tools. Now, if you look at this, you've got an axe, you've got a knife. Okay, Around 2500 BCE, people in Britain learned how to make tools from bronze. Bronze tools such as this axe and knife were much stronger and sharper than stone tools. Then the fact cat is telling you a group of people from Europe called um, the beakers probably taught people in Britain how to make bronze. How did the beakers get their name? So that is something else you could research for me. Bronze tools made farming much easier. Farmers could grow more food than their villages needed. People started to travel to other parts of Britain to trade food and bronze tools. So you've got a sickle here. And um, for the picture, it says people learned how to make tools from iron in around 800 BCE. These tools were used to harvest crops. Now, this page is about weapons and wars. Stone Age weapons were used mainly for hunting as fights between people were unusual. As the population of Britain got bigger in the Bronze Age, people started to fight each other more often. So over here you've got Stone Age weapons such as arrowheads. They were, they were often made out of a stone called flint. And over here in the Bronze Age, weapons and shields were made from bronze. The decorations on this bronze shield show that it belonged to someone important. So from the decoration, you could tell who it belonged to. Many Iron Age tribes built high hill forts to protect their villages from attacks from other tribes or invaders from different countries. The whole village would live on top of a hill, a hill uh, top of a high ground, and walls would be built around them to keep them safe. In the Iron Age times, there was a hill fort on top of this hill. The edges of the hill have been dug away to make, a hard, make it harder to at attack. Fact Cat is saying there, there are remains of over 3,000 Iron Age hill forts in Britain. Can you find out the names of two of them? Now, this is about arts and crafts. So they had a lot of culture as well. Okay. Stone Age people decorated stones and animal bones with pictures, like artists today. They drew things that they could see around them, such as animals or people. This picture of a horse's head drawn on a bone is one of the oldest pieces of Stone Age art found in Britain. It's probably about 12,500 years old. 
The oldest art found on Earth is a zigzag line carved into a shell. It is over 400,000 years old. In the Bronze and Iron Ages, craftsmen used metal to make beautiful objects as well as useful tools. Powerful rulers of tribes started carrying expensive decorated jewellery and armour to show how rich they were. This Bronze Age cape made from gold is known as a mould cape. It was probably worn by the ruler of a Bronze Age tribe on special occasions. How did the mould cape get it get its name? This decorated iron shield is actually made from bronze. The designs on the shield look a bit like birds. So now these are about their clothes. Stone Age people wore animal skins to keep warm. The skins were sewn together to make clothes using bone needles and thread made from stringy bits of animal meat. Okay, this model shows what Stone Age clothes probably look like. This man is dressed for hunting and is carrying a long spear. By the Bronze Age, people knew how to weave wool into cloth. This cloth was made into clothes such as tunics and trousers. Shoes and cloaks were made from leather. So now here you can see a picture of a tunic. In the Bronze and Iron Ages, most people wore woven tunics with skirts for women and trousers for men. So here's a fact, cat. Some Iron Age warriors wore very few clothes. They used dye from a plant to paint their bodies blue. That was the name of their paint. What was the name of their what was the name of the plant? So now this is about religion. Large stone circles were built across Britain during the Stone Age. Some of them are still standing today. Most historians think that these circles were used for religious ceremonies. Some stones were brought to stone were, were brought to Stonehenge from nearly 400 kilometers away into in West Wales. No one knows how how the heavy stones were carried such a long way. The largest stones at Stonehenge weigh 50 tons. That's as much as the weight of 10 adult elephants combined. Wow, that's heavy. In the Iron Age, people thought that gods and goddesses lived in nature. People worshipped and celebrated the different gods and made sacrifices to them. Religious men at the time were called druids. This is a drawing of um, Iron Age Druids. Druids used sickles to gather special plants, which, which plant with white berries did Druids often pick? Now, your task. I hope you have taken down some notes. So using the information from what we have just read, I want you to write down in your own words a minimum of three new pieces of information you have found out, okay? So you just need to fire, you just need to write down a minimum of three new pieces of information you have found out. Okay. And I shall uh, make sure you upload your work onto tapestry and I shall see you next lesson. Bye, Pankhurst.